Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see this simple but amazing to-do app created with Nuxjs, Tailwind and view, view use Motion. So here, I will add some to-do items, React code, there you go, the message is there and it goes with animation and the list item also comes with animation. So how are we gonna do this? Well, without any further ado, let's begin. To begin with, I have here a simple Nux3 project with Tailwind CSS and I have just created like a simple, very simple to-do form. Here we have an input to accept to-do plus the button to submit it. Plus I'm also using hero icons. So we have a plus icon coming from there. And here we are entering list of to-do icons and then have a trash icon to just delete the to-do. And here a function to add a to-do in the to-dos list. So that's our ref and a function to delete to-do. And here our to-do text to bind with our input. So to show you a quick demo of this, if I go here, react, add it, learn next, something like this. So now here, if you notice, if I add something else, it just like straight away pops in there. What if there is some animation? Well, that's what we want here. So for that, we will be using this view use motion library. Now this library uses pop motion. And if you have used react framer motion or framer motion in react, this library is seems to be highly inspired from that. And the syntax is pretty similar to react uh, framer motion. So if you're looking a substitute for a framer motion in view, then this library is a good option. So that's the pop motion and whatever properties you're seeing here, you can use them here. Also, they have very beautiful documentation explaining how to use this package. Now, as we are using Nuxt, so if I go to Nuxt usage, we just need to add this line in our Nuxt config.js and we want our own directives. So we can also add this motions object with the directives object and define our custom directives. Now to install this first, if you run this command, you might get an error. So a work a workaround for that is just install the version, which is this one, when this video is created and released. This is the recent version. So to install this, like if I stop my Nux server, I just need to npm i view use motion at and the version here. So this one, copy this and just paste it here. What we need to do now here is, once this is installed, let's run back our Nux server, as I have installed it before, so that's why it's saying up to date. And we need then need to add this line from here inside our nuxtconfig.js, sorry, ts. So here I have already added that, and then we just need to use this package. Now, as it's auto imported when you add it in the module, so we don't need to import it. All we need to do is, I want this list item to have that animation. So here I'm going to say V motion, V dash motion. Now they have their own presets. So if we go over here, presets, they have these presets. So they have a fade one, they have fade visible. So to play them, you can simply like click this icon and you'll see how they work. So you can add these presets or we can create our own. So here they have transition properties. So what we need is we need the initial one. So the initial state of our element, then the enter, so when the element enters on the screen or the component is mounted, something like that. And there is also leave and there are other properties also. So if we go to, uh, I guess it's motion properties, no, not in motion, uh, directory, yeah, this one. So initial, enter, visible, visible once, hovered when you hovered on it, focused when it's focused and tapped, it's pretty similar to click and or touch on a phone or on click on a laptop screen kind of thing. So we can use these properties and add the list of key value pairs, which are nothing but the properties of animation. So opacity, we know that Y means the Y position on the, so that means the horizontal position on the horizontal axis or Y axis. X refers to the X axis position. Now they have transition properties. So you can also scale them. You can delay the transition. Not just that, you can also have per key animations. For instance, let's say I want to add delay for a translate on a vertical axis and then I want some opacity then in that case these specific attributes are very useful so what I have done here is I have added some like basic configurations or I've just created a variable and the good thing about this is 
these values could also be reactive. So for instance, if I hover my mouse, let's say on screen, I want to change this exposition, we can also do that. But for now, we'll keep it very simple. So initially, it's going to be on x of 50. Let's make it minus 50 actually. So it comes from left. Then the opacity will be zero. And for the transition, I'm giving stiffness. So these properties, you can find them over here as well in pop motion. So stiffness over here defines the stiffness of the spring. A higher stiffness will result in a snappier animation. So here, if we go and so we have added these two values. Now what we need to do is we need to hook them over here. So on my li tag, I'm going to say initial, initial, and that will be our initial object. Also, we will give some enter, enter. And what I'm going to do is I will add a slight delay. So here I will add a delay of 200 millisecond. So this value is in millisecond. Plus, I'm also adding this is in out effect. So if we save this and now go back and add some here, I'm something here. So next JS, there we go. Wow, that's smooth. Then we have React JS. Great. Now, what if I want the remove transition? For instance, when I enter things, there is a transition. But if I want to delete it, there is no transition on that. So how can we achieve this? Well, for that, if I go in the documentation variants and here live, there is a leave variant. That leave variant allows us to have the transition when the element is about to go from the DOM. But for this to work, we need to use views transition component and we need to also use the hook use motion. And as it says here, we also need to get the motion instance so we can get the motion instance using use motion. Now, what I'm going to do is if I have to do it on li tag, I cannot actually do it in a straightforward way because here what's happening is in the delete, I'm just make, uh, getting a new to do's value uh, after the filter and whatever new to do's value is this li tags will be just re-rendered or we will just have like that particular li tag just go off from the ul list ul tags or the list of our uh, to do's so in a way we are not actually removing the element we are just re-rendering that list of allies but if we have something let's say v if or some other uh, way of showing this li tags or let's say we are manually removing this li element then in that case we could use that transition of leaf so what i will do is to demonstrate that leaf i will just take a span tag here like this and to this span tag i will just have some classes and here i will associate a v motion with span so here i will associate an instance name and what i'm going to do is I will wrap this in a transition component. I'm going to say the CSS property should be false. So there shouldn't be any CSS associated uh, like applied to this. And also I'm going to say, okay, the initial state will be whatever the initial state of the LI is, like just coming from my uh, minus 50. Then enter state, just the normal enter state. Delay, let's reduce the delay here to 100 and leave. I'll make it back to go to the initial state. Okay. So what we are doing here is we are just showing a message whenever there is a new to do added. Plus, on top of that, we have a VF here so that we just show as soon as the to do is added and with a set timeout, we remove this. And to make this work on transition, we have a leave event listener. So whenever this component goes, like not this component, but this span tag or comp anything inside this transition component goes, this leave event is fired. And on that, what we are doing is we are passing a callback. The first argument here will be going to be element and we don't want that element so we are just interested in this done so as soon as this transition is finished or whenever the element lives this done will be true so what we are trying to say here is or this done is used to just take a track of that or keep a track of that and what we are doing is okay we don't want this so we just put underscore there that's how you do it in javascript and here we are saying from the motions there is a span instance associated with it just apply a leave uh, animation on that with done and here in our javascript we just need to import use motions plus we have the show variable or the show flag just to show this message and this motions the motions object that we get it from use motions composable then whenever we add a to do we just set show to true and with a timeout we set it back to false so after two seconds we will set it back to false now let's give this a try let's add something here react and you'll see a message and it will go boom with animation next yes great and there you go 
So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video.